It's Q and A and advice time plus viewer video request time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, if you're deep in Linux, how do you get over to BSD Unix? G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Q&A and advice time plus viewer video request time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel. And three or four days ago now, I received a private message from a viewer. Now, I deeply apologize if I offend this viewer because I can't pronounce their name correctly. But a lot of my viewers and subscribers know that I'm absolutely useless when it comes to pronouncing people's names. In fact, half the viewers and subscribers would probably say I'm useless across the board, but nevertheless. The viewer's name was A. Hutsona, or Hutsona, or Hutsona. I'm, I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I apologise if I've offended you. Basically, they found the channel a few days ago. They are deeply entrenched in Linux, but want to come across to BSD, specifically FreeBSD. But they give up and walk away from it because... They, what appears to be, they seem to argue with FreeBSD 11. I don't know why. FreeBSD is actually dead easy to use. Nevertheless. Okay. Now, we're going to keep this simple. Okay. First off, I'm going to burst everyone's bubble here. Yes, I know I could suggest to A. Hudson to grab FreeBSD 11 point one source code, compile that, grab the GCC compiler, compile all that, create a complete SQL database with every dependency and everything, compile all that, grab Window Maker, compile that, and drop it onto a 4 meg USB key with a full desktop environment and everything under the sun that they'll need to do and it'll run off 640k of RAM. I know that. They want a quick and easy way to do it in simple time. Now, I know you'll be able to compile the entire FreeBSD in 30 seconds because I see people do it all the time. The whole operating system done in 30 seconds. Okay. I don't know what architecture they've got. I don't know anything. They want a guide on how to get to FreeBSD 11.1 easy. The easiest way of doing it, get GhostBSD. Okay, now you're all howling on me because I've suggested GhostBSD. A. Hudson. GhostBSD, which I'm going to take you over to in just a moment. GhostBSD is FreeBSD 11.1 with an already pre-installed, out-of-the-box, ready-to-go XFCE desktop. You don't have to add the desktop. Now, if you get a core version of NetBSD, OpenBSD, or FreeBSD, yes, you have to install a desktop. GhostBSD comes with it pre-installed. You have XFCE or MATE, or MATE, or whatever you want to call it. So there are people who are going to comment down below saying, don't listen to Backyard Tech. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Don't use Unix. It doesn't work. That's the first thing they're going to say. Second thing they're going to say is, no, don't get GhostBSD. It does not work. Well, actually, it does work. They're going to say, compile it from the ground up. It'll take you 10 seconds to do the whole lot. Well, yeah, if you've got 256 gig of RAM, a hard drive interface running at 12 gig per second, uh, and about four eight-core CPUs running at four gig a pop. Yes, you could probably compile a whole operating system in 30 seconds. GhostBSD is one of the best free BSD distro-based operating systems I think I have come across in a long time. So, let's head on over and I'll show you GhostBSD. All right, well, here is GhostBSD, FreeBSD 11.1, okay? Now, I know you're all screaming at me because I'm promoting what is deemed to be a useless Unix operating system because you can't use it for anything, but I do use it, and I use it regularly. XFCE. Now, people, look, I've said this before. You've got heaps in here. Look, we've got GVIM, editing text files. You've got Compton for X Compositor. You've got Root Terminal. Plank. Screenshot. You know, 
Thuna File Manager, Vim's in there, XF Burn, Education, Graphics, Rosetto's there, you can put GIMP in if you want. Internet, you get Firefox, you get Thunderbird, you get Hex Chat, you got the GhostBSD IRC channel, Multimedia, um, Office, full LibreOffice. Now, I'm going to show you something here. I know, you're all screaming at me because I'm doing this in Unix and not in Linux. Okay, OctoPKG. Um, okay, it's not happy, but that's because... If you can use Synaptic Package Manager, you can use OctoPKG. Okay. I need to re-sync the databases, I think. I do. Sync database. Oh. Sorry. Okay, so keyring spat the dummy, but that's fine. Now look, as I said, if you can use Synaptic, here's the front-end package manager for GhostBSD. So this is full, fully-fledged FreeBSD 11.1. .1. I didn't even have to install this desktop. It was already out of the box, okay? Now, um, if we go back up here, okay? You know, you've got update station to update your system and software. Okay? Now, I think... Is it... No, it's not. I didn't think so. So, Steam's not there. So, you've got some games there you can play, but... You know, I'm not a gamer, so I don't, I don't worry about an operating system needing the ability to game. All right. So, you know, we can go into the file manager. It's Thuna. Okay. You know, every everything's there. This it, it's basically FreeBSD, and from here you can actually, you know, like, you know, straight out terminal. CD slash um, CD. Okay, so you go into that, and this is out to open BSD. You know, so there's the terminal. All right, I can do. Okay, I'm in root. You know, now. Um, so, you know, I, I, I can change everything I need to change. You know, if you want the easiest way to get to free BSD, I'd get this, okay? And, oh, hang on. So here's free BSD, here's Ghost BSD's website, all right? Now, you know, it's built on top of FreeBSD. It's already a dis desktop oriented operating system. It uses the GTK environment, okay? Now, I know people hate GTK. I don't have a problem with it. And it's built on, is derived from FreeBSD. So, if you want a default GUI, right, for FreeBSD 11, then it's just as easy to use GhostBSD. I mean, you've got, 
you know, we've we've been through this. You know, you can go down to settings. Uh, let's see, what what can we, you know, customize the panel. You know, I can have it as a desk bar. Change the appearance. Um, change all, you know whiskers in there. You've got I think conkies available for this as well if you want it. You know, everything's there that you need. All right. Um, it's running on. I can't actually remember what what version of XFCE we are. So we're on XFCE four one two. Okay. We all know XFCE. Okay. Use Ghost BSD now. You will. There will be comments saying no, no, no. Use Dragonfly or use FreeBSD and put Luminar on it. That requires them downloading FreeBSD and then PKG installing. Right, Ghost BSD out of the box default GUI, and for daily computing, so for the everyday user, there is Ghost BSD will do it. Like you know. I'll show you something. Okay. Ah. So I'm in Ghost BSD and I'm heading over to the V490. Okay? This is what I do all the time. You know, I need to change things in the V490. You know, I do it from here. Alright? Or, you know, if I want to check something. You know, you know, and then go and there's root. You know, so I've got a terminal session open and oh, I've got to upgrade that. Okay. All right, I'll have to upgrade Webmin, damn it. I can do that at a later date. So that's GhostBSD. So it's fully-fledged FreeBSD 11.1, but you've got XFCE4, and I know people will probably howl on me for promoting GhostBSD, but it is one of my favourite desktop-based Unix operating systems. The other option is you get Solaris 11.3. If you want to get in bed with Unix and you want a completely fully fledged Unix operating system that can do everything, Solaris. You know, get 11.3 or get 11.4 and run with it. Okay? That's that's the best I can suggest for you, A. Eh, Hutsoner. Um, now, you're probably going to... I'll get howled on because I'm talking about GhostBSD. I'm talking about Unix. But look... GhostBSD, it's default. The the graphic, yeah. This this graphic system wasn't. I didn't have to do PKG install to get it. It came with it, and the only thing I've added to it. In fact, no. Uh, where is it? The only thing I've added was. Uh, if I can find the program I installed, I only added. Um, I can't even find the program, no. Okay, so I've got a software update available for FreeBSD. Well, that's good. Uh, where do... I can't even remember what it was I added to it. Might have been VLC. Is the only thing I added. So, but that's that's your best option, a eh, Hudsoner? Um, and as I said, you will get a lot of people saying, no, no, don't, just stick with Linux. You know, don't, don't touch Unix because... You can't do anything with Unix these days. Well, you can. For daily computing, Unix is still a viable choice. And 
with, with distributions like GhostBSD producing default GUI desktops where you don't have to do anything, I think you can use GhostBSD daily without a problem. If you want to game on it, a little bit more tedious to set up a full Steam system allowing you to play every game under the sun. But for general daily computing, word processing, emailing, um, uh, web surfing, um, or business environment, GhostBSD can do it without a problem. There we go. Stick around. Don't forget tonight, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, sorry, Australian Eastern Standard Time, aren't we? GMT UTC plus 10. Have the Backyard Tech Channel live stream conversations. Enjoy your Sunday, guys. Cheers.